Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on December 28th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew, looking at space weather and world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and starting out here looking at our sun for today, two earth-facing sunspots, looking here at incoming images, last 48 hours on the sun, outgoing, here, a little earth to scale. Quick observation of the two active earth facing sunspots. You can see that left one, a couple small flashes there in the last few images. Nothing spectacular though. Looking here, 193 angstroms, observing another coronal hole developing northern hemisphere. We're expecting that coronal hole winds stream very soon from the last one. Looking here at the heliosphere on the sun being affected by incoming action, backside of the sun. Amazing images here. Welcome everybody to Morning Dew. Thank you for all of the new followers. We're gonna start out here again, looking at a real time solar data. As we saw a spike last night up to about 560 kilometers per second. But right now we're hovering at about 450 ahead of the coronal wind stream. As you can see, it's starting to go down. A little bit of missing data there. Schumann resonance for today, power of 11 over 500. Very low frequency effect today. A power of 11.4 in the quality and amplitude of 11. Looking here at earthquakes the last 24 hours. And yes, this is the last 24 hours. We are riddled with quakes. We've seen a lot of activity across Western United States there in Mexico, San Diego, or sorry, San Francisco, and northward into Idaho, and Washington there with a 2.9. Alaska kind of quieted down since all the activity in South America. Looking across Russia, 4.4 there in Japan, 4.8 in Japan, as well, 4.6 there, Mariana's Trench. 4.5, Philippines. Now, across the Philippines, there were quite a few quakes last night after that large event of the possible 9.1 earthquake in Antarctica. Still no conf confirmation from any of the geological sites. Looking here at the activity across Papua New Guinea and into New Zealand. As well, south of Australia here, 5.7. Southern Indian Ridge, as well, 5.1. 4.9 there, south of Africa yesterday. 4.7, just west of Praslin. 5.4 there in Yemen. And as well, looking at Turkey, 5.5, 4.4 there. As well, Croatia, 5.2. A couple people were in the live streams hitting it up last night saying those quakes woke them up. Around the world we go, and we're looking at the largest earthquake the last 24 hours, the 6.7 Calama, Chile. And you can see there has been quite a few, about eight large aftershocks, 4.4 and greater, and as well, a lot of activity moving north to Sabancaya, and as well, a new volcano just north of Sabancaya. We'll get into that in just a moment. Looking here, Central America, Colombia with a 4.5, 4.2 there, Ecuador, and 4.3, a Guatemala. And just recently, a 4.9 sizable just east of Puerto Rico. Seen a lot of activity throughout Puerto Rico, and as well, a lot of heliplot activity. 
throughout this region. So a lot of people are wondering about this video yesterday with the possible 9.1 earthquake. So what I was observing were the heliplots from USGS, which records all frequency activity in our planet, mostly low frequency. So that is what was picked up was low frequency, but you could see by the signatures, it looked up to be about a 9.1. And across the globe, we saw these charts going off the chart. And just looking at the last seven days, our planet is riddled with earthquakes. We are seeing our planet bursting at the seams. Expanding Earth much? I think so. But we are definitely on the verge of something even more drastic, quite possibly a pole flip, magnetic reversal, in which I think we are on the verge now. Let's have a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes being updated. And just recently here, most recent here, Sabinkaya, Swiss and Ajima, uh, Kluchevskoy, Fuego, Popo, Senge, and then Fictitus. This is Volcano Fictitus, who I said was just north of Sabinkaya in Peru. And I was looking at Google Earth, and this is not a uh, your typical volcano. Uh, it's not a tall mountain range at all. It's not a tall volcano. But it is a dormant, looks like a catastrophic volcano. So please stay tuned for the Volcanic Activity Report. We will be running down all of the active and erupting volcanoes from around the world. As we do have another one that woke up, the Tanger caldera in indonesia i'll show you where that is and as well that is a very large volcano as well now we've been talking quite possibly about all of these super volcanoes going off during the pole flip as we're watching just dramatic events happen around the world i would love everybody to just stay aware and prepared and i appreciate you choosing morning dew Looking at all these alerts here, there's a lot of flood warnings and as well snowstorm warnings, extreme cold warnings here in India, northern India, extreme cold, as well Mongolia, extreme cold. Europe is starting to see the snow finally, parts of Austria down into Spain, and as well across Canada, of course, we've seen our snow and the United States now as they have another Colorado low moving into them tonight and throughout the night and into tomorrow. But watch for this uh, low pressure system from the Pacific to come into California overnight tonight and watch for some very strong winds to pick up and move across into Colorado and then Tomorrow morning, definitely we'll be seeing some extreme weather throughout Colorado moving eastward. Let's have a look at five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike. Starting out here at Calgary, Alberta. Somewhat seasonable, kind of above seasonal, actually. Um, our lowest temperature this week is minus 10. Five-day forecast, we're going to be seeing a, a little increase in temps ahead of the low pressure systems that are penetrating the coastline here. The rain train continues for BC and into Washington. And then watch as this low pressure system comes out of the upper Midwest and into Colorado. Half of the low pressure system moves down into the Gulf. Intertropical convergence, these cold temperatures are going way too far south. That's all I can say. Look at this beast of a storm forming for Ontario and northeastward into Canada for the weekend coming up. Throughout the week, you see a mixed bag of precipitation through Ontario and eastward. But these cold temps are lingering around higher elevations all across western United States and into Canada. Collapse magnetosphere much? Colder temperatures being forced further towards our planet. Colder temperatures from above. Let's have a look at Europe as they still have that large low pressure system now starting to break off into smaller low pressure systems moving eastward, but 
definitely bringing down some cooler temperatures. You can see those blues moving in, making some of my subscribers happy. I know a lot of them are, are hoping for some snow. I'm hoping as well. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of snow. Overlooking Russia, cold temps still lingering. Minus 48 in some regions that will be swinging around in the long range forecast. And that's going to be propelled by this massive low pressure system in the Pacific. Just look at this beast. Like it is still spinning around the Alaskan Peninsula and into Russia, Kamchatka. Breaking off little spawns of low pressure systems moving into the BC coastline. Rain train. Crazy stuff, guys. Stay aware and prepared. Overlooking Indonesia. Philippines, not much to talk about. Daily evaporation rains. Australia, you will be seeing some heavy rains into New South Wales and the East Coast moving southward into Sydney. Low pressure system moving into the area later in the week. As well, observing in the Indian Ocean here, two tropical cyclones possible. Two areas of interest here. Five day forecast shows them winding into each other so they could join forces there and head into Madagascar later in the week and they just saw tropical storm Shailene who is now heading into Madagascar and across South America or South Africa so heads up my South African friends now much to talk about north in the northern region cooler temperatures are really starting to move down though South America not much to talk about except for daily evaporation rains heavier towards Panama, Paraguay. Watch for a couple storms there to pop up later in the week. Buenos Aires, Brazil border with Argentina. Again, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining the channel and a special shout out to all of the people who have joined the memberships on Morning Dew where in the future I will be releasing membership videos. So stay tuned, stay aware, prepared, and thanks everybody again for joining the channel. Don't forget to smash that like button and share it with your friends and family. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.